Simplifying and reducing the configuration always helps to reduce human errors while configuring networks. I'm Diane Patton, a technical marketing engineer with Cumulus Networks, and today I'll go over some of the innovations we have done to allow much simpler operations and configurations along with a quick demo. Today, operators are struggling to keep up with generating and maintaining configurations while eliminating errors. Some tools can be used to help configure, such as spreadsheets, text files, as well as external scripts whose output would then need to be uploaded or cut and paste into the switch. But these can be error prone and tedious as well. And as networks grow, simplifying configuration becomes even more critical as they help keep the configuration files to a readable size. Some vendors simplify these configurations by allowing ranges, meaning you can configure more than one interface at a time. And this can be beneficial. But the caveat with this approach is that everything configured on that interface must be the same. Many times this is just not practical, as what's needed on each interface may be different. Cumulus Linux greatly simplifies these configurations and tasks by allowing templates directly in the configuration as a core feature. By configuring a simple script, we can configure different attributes per interface while keeping the configuration small. Additionally, it can eliminate human error by having a script do the configurations rather than doing it manually. And nothing needs to be cut and paste or uploaded into the switch. And further, we're still able to view and troubleshoot the configurations when needed. In fact, in a real customer environment, we have reduced the configuration lines by over 99%. Let's take virtual router redundancy as an example. As opposed to VRRP, Cumulus VRR allows many active default gateways. All default gateways use the same MAC address and IP gateway address and forward the traffic off the subnet to allow for full load balancing. Whether you have MLAG with two default gateways or you're connected to 100 default gateways. In the MLAG environment, the packets will traverse based on MLAG hashing and either gateway that receives the frame will route it. Further, the switches do not need to talk to each other, allowing for much simpler troubleshooting. So let's compare other solutions to how it can be done in Cumulus. For the other solution, I'm using VRRP since no VRR is available. And as you can see, there are no ranges configured since IP address configuration is required. This makes the configuration long and tedious, and I cannot even fit the entire config on the slide. There's almost 2,400 lines on this SVI config. However, Cumulus's config is one simple script that configures both the common items and the change items, such as IP addresses. I have one simple for loop, which increments the VLAN variable each time it goes through the loop, and we simply increment the different octets of the IP address. We can embed simple Python code into the template, and this is where we insert those variables here. If we need more VLANs, I simply change the range. No additional config lines are required. And this config is a mere 17 lines. More information on this can be found at the Mako template URL seen here. And you don't have to worry about the Mako script not putting the config in the correct order, as Cumulus Linux automatically puts the config in the correct order before applying it. And as a side note, in this case, we're using the same virtual MAC address for each VLAN, but if desired, that could also be a variable. So let's look at the demo setup, which I'll be using this exact simple script. This depicts the lab setup where we have six hosts, two leaves, and two spines. I'm running MLAG between the hosts and the leaves, and layer three with eBGP unnumbered between the leaves and the spine. I have 600 VLANs towards the hosts, and loopbacks on the spine are being advertised by BGP, which we'll ping later to demonstrate connectivity. Leaf one and leaf two are configured similarly. So let's log into leaf one. So let's start by taking a look at that Etsy network interfaces file. And as you can see here, we have the exact same Mako script as we showed earlier. And this script is generating all of those SVIs up from 101 all the way up to 699. So if I do a Mako render on that same file, we can see this entire script broken out as it would be read by the configuration. So as you can see here, we've got all 699 SVIs all broken out into the individual interfaces. So next, we'll do an IF query check, and this will check the macro script and the configuration and make sure that everything looks good. 
And as you can see here, it does. Everything is in the past state, so we're good to go here. And then we'll do a quick IP route show, and this will show the routes as seen by the kernel. And as you can see here, we have all the SVIs in addition to the two spine loopback addresses seen here. We also have many useful troubleshooting commands that can output both in easy human readable format as well as machine readable JSON format. I'll show you two, ifquery and netshow. Netshow was created by Cumulus to facilitate troubleshooting. So let's start off with the IF query, and I'll show you an output on JSON since we've already seen an output on the human readable format. So all we do is enter the equals format JSON command. And you can see here the output now is in JSON format, which is very useful if you're outputting this into a script rather than reading it um, by hand. In addition to that, we can do net show commands, as I mentioned earlier. That can also be done in both JSON as well as human readable format. But just to show you a little bit of that, we can do a net show layer two all. And then we can see in human readable format, in this case, everything about layer two on this specific network. So you can see all the hosts that are connected via MLAG going to this specific leaf. We can also do net show interface and show the legend along with it if we would like to. So I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. And the legend will allow you to be able to see exactly what all these different variables might mean in the output of the net show command. So as you can see here, we see all of the SVIs, we saw, see all the information with NetShow, and in addition to that, we do see the legend here at the bottom. And just to finish up here and to prove connectivity, I'm going to go ahead and go to one of the hosts and ping that spine loopback address to prove connectivity. So if we do a ping on 10, 100, 2, 1, which remember is a loopback on one of those spines, you can see here that that is fully successful. So in summary, Cumulus Linux provides the benefit of allowing scripts right in the config as a core feature. This allows for far shorter configurations, even when the interface configurations cannot be the same. If the configurations do happen to be the same, we can also configure ranges or globs. This also helps eliminate human error by not requiring any cut and paste or manual intervention. The entire configuration can be automated, even without any external automation tools. And finally, we provide simple troubleshooting techniques using commands like ifquery and netshow. All of these features together provide for simpler operations, one of the many benefits of running Cumulus in your data center. Thank you for watching and have a great day.